Tucson has seen a recent increase in drive through and takeout restaurants. Not on your sides, Perla Shaheen tells us more on how this go to business model could be the new norm. It was a busy morning at the new Black Rock coffee bar near the University of Arizona. The cafe has always had a mostly drive through business model. We started in a little 300 square foot building that's a, a coffee kiosk, drive through only. This fast pick up and go strategy made a big difference this past year. We went through a phase of closing down our lobbies and only doing drive through, uh, and that really helped us get through the pandemic. It's a model that Arizona restaurants are adapting to. According to the Arizona Restaurant Association, 5% of sales came from takeout before the pandemic. But in 2020, that number jumped to 25%. drive throughs uh, became paramount in 2020. The value of a drive through I've been in this job nearly 20 years, uh, has never been more relevant, more important. Uh, in my entire 20 year career. The association helped more than 2,500 Arizona restaurants adjust their service in the last year. The demand was, if I don't have a drive through how can we get one? I think even Chipotle has now looked at, how can we add drive throughs Takeout only spots popped up throughout Tucson this year, including By the Bucket, which has two upcoming storefronts. Its main selling point, quick service takeout for spaghetti and meatballs. And it's in and out, right? You come in, you get your bucket of spaghetti and you're gone. Takes about 45 seconds. DaCosta started his franchise a year before the pandemic. While other restaurants were adjusting their business models, By the Bucket grew exponentially. It allowed our business to grow because people discovered my spaghetti and now they're like, hey, why would I want to go sit around an Italian restaurant? I get my spaghetti in a bucket. <laughs> if Tucson continues to follow this trend, the to-go industry is here to stay. Perla Shaheen, KGA9 on your side.